Hey there, it's Trucker Wayne from Driver Solutions and Pan Transport. We're going to talk about weight, weight distribution, and if you're new in school, you're going to be learning all this. Thought I'd do a video on it. So we're going to start with uh, 80,000 pounds, do uh, 12,000 on your steer here, 34,000 on your uh, drive right here, and 34,000 on the rear that I'm going down here with now. Some states let you go as much as 12,500 pounds on your steer, but you've got to realize that extra 500 pounds has to come off somewhere. So you could say uh, 33,750 pounds on the drive, 33,750 pounds on the rear, 80,000. All right, so uh, what's nice about dry van is it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to move these uh, tandems, all right? Come down here, usually, the older ones, you have a little lever, you pull the lever and the pins go in and you have the notches. Well, on this one, it's really nice, it's a new one. It's got a little uh, push button. The air pushes the uh, pin, there's four of them, uh, pushes them in and out. And by the way, did you know, it is illegal to drive with only three pins out. You had need all four to be legal. Not saying people don't do it, but all pins need to be out to be legal. So each notch you have down here, I make it easy for me. Any driver will tell you it varies, but I say 250 pounds per notch. So if you move four notches, 1,000 pounds, pretty easy. The nice thing about this is when you're moving your tandems, so let's say you're moving your tandems to the rear. Now you're gonna learn this in school, so a lot of the new people, before you're in school, learning something here. When you move it to the rear, all you're doing is transferring more weight to your drives up front. Just think about that. If you're moving your tires to the back, you're transferring your weight to the front. And the exact opposite, if you come forward here, as far as you can, you're gonna transfer the weight back. So if you bring the tires and your tandem to the uh, front, you're transferring the weight to the back. Uh, you know, it's getting weighed and staying legal is huge. Um, it, it's a big ticket if you're overweight on any of your axles and it's a big ticket for your company too so always keep that in mind okay when you're when you're driving along you're always weigh they say that you really should weigh every time every load every time if you are not sure what's going on especially when you're new another thing I want to talk about very quickly is uh, you're gonna pull into a shipper one day and they're gonna say what's your empty weight and you're gonna what's empty weight empty weight is the empty trailer with your truck and you should always do it when you're full that's your empty weight when your trailer is empty you got your truck with you and you should always do when your fuel is when your uh, truck is full of fuel it's very important that gives you weight 29,000 to 32,000 shipper needs to know that to make sure that you're legal there if you tell them and guess oh 29,000 and you're 32,000 they're gonna put 3,000 more pounds on there and guess what you're illegal all right Next video coming up is for the flatbedders, a little bit more uh, in-depth. This is Trucker Wayne. I'm out.